there's breaking news that's coming in. The Inter-University Students Federation in Sri Lanka, they've planned massive protests in Colombo tomorrow, 19th of July. That's also the day when the candidates will file their nomination for the post of President of Sri Lanka. That's been lying vacant since Gotabaya Rajpakshe first fled the presidential palace and then the country en route. Uh, uh, he initially went to Singapore. Now, Singapore's asked him to uh, not stay there longer, according to media reports here. But nominations will be filed for the presidential polls. And the Inter University Students Federation, they've asked a number of trade unions and other civil society bodies to join their protest. They say their work is half done. They won a battle, but they still have a war ahead. President Gotmaya Rajpaksha has gone, but they say the same ruling elite continue in Sri Lanka and they want a complete change. Is that even possible? What happens tomorrow when the candidates file their nomination and Ranil Vikramasinghe is one of them? There's also Sajid Premdasa uh, and uh, Dallas Anu Prema, uh, uh, Parema. And uh, let me quickly, let me quickly bring in our guests on the broadcast for more on the story. Joining me now on this India First special, Ailan Kadir Gamar, he's an economist and senior lecturer at the University of Jaffna. Also joining me on this broadcast is Chamit Vijay Sundra, who is national organizer of the SJB and a special representative of the opposition. But Ailan Kadir Gamar, let me come to you first. Sir. What do you make of the protests that are scheduled for the 19th of July and the Students' Federation wants all civil society bodies and trade unions to come forward? Yeah, now Sri Lanka has had um, waves of uh, protests, as uh, you would have seen, um, you know, for the better part of uh, this year. And uh, every time the, the protests have been uh, mounting, uh, the protests started in March, and then by <clears throat> April it had uh, become much stronger, also with um, trade unions joining them. Um, that culminated in the May 9th protest, which led to the resignation of Mahindra Rajapaksa and the appointment of Ranil Vikramasinghe. Um, they tried to diffuse the protest through the appointment of Ranil Vikramasinghe. But again, uh, the last two weeks, we saw very valiant protests uh, on July 9th and then July 13th. And at all these protests, the student movement has been in the forefront. They have been the most militant and uh, they have uh, carried the day. So it is likely to be a very strong protest uh, uh, tomorrow. Um, but this has also been called at short notice. So it's to be seen with the, the, the masses of people which have uh, supported the students in the last two protests would turn up on, the, on those numbers. Uh, but regardless, I think if uh, Ranil Vikramasinghe is uh, made president on Wednesday, and that will be a deal between the president's political party, the president who has run away, and his political party, and Ranil Vikramasinghe, because Ranil Vikramasinghe absolutely has no political or social base, Okay. then it will likely that there will be more protests that happen after that. Um, so the protest movement has been deciding the, the direction of this country.